فوز محمد شارفزيو اول سابجيكت دي از كاسكيد فيبر كومبريشن ريفريجريشن سايكل باز يوز اوف ار 134 ريفريجرنت First of all, you have to specify your folder. Open MATLAB first. Go to your destination folder, the folder, the folder that you uh, copy and pasted your downloaded model. Uh, go to, uh, to your uh, model from here. You drive your um, working folder, okay? And open it and click here in order to sort by name and to uh, group by type. And uh, you will find your folder here or Excel sheets. You'll find after downloading for the, your model, you'll find Excel sheets with uh, saturated uh, uh, liquid line, vapor line, superheat regions, uh, and, and so on. This is our main model. You can drag and drop, double clicking here. Okay. This is our main model. Uh, it's about uh, uh, cascade upper and lower uh, uh, refrigeration cycles. Uh, first of all, uh, we are going to use the same refrigerant for bottoming cycle and upper cycle. Okay, it is it should be uh, 130, uh, 34A for post cycles. As you can see here, we have here this is uh, uh, the cycle represented on uh, TS diagram, and uh, uh, we have here point one uh, at uh, dry saturated, and we have to uh, compress our refrigerant to 0.2 uh, which in uh, superheat region and we have expanding uh, through uh, or heat rejection by uh, condenser this is condenser pressure we have actually an intermediate unit which is the condenser for the bottoming cycle uh, uh, should be considered an evaporator to the upper cycle um, it is uh, therefore this is a heat exchanger we have uh, cycle a and cycle b okay upper cycle uh, we named it as uh, a and bottoming we uh, has a topic of a of b i'm sorry and um, after this we have to go through the condensation and releasing heat to the upper cycle and uh, we have heat expansion valve Okay, or flashing through the expansion valve. So we have here point four. We need to uh, calculate the dryness fraction at this point, and we have to return back again uh, based on uh, evaporator. For the upper cycle, we have we are considering uh, evaporator uh, or heat exchanger as an evaporator by transferring heat. Therefore, we will cons we will compress refrigerant again to point six. And we could continue process again uh, through the upper condenser, and uh, turning back through the, the upper expansion valve to point eight. Let's go inside here. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, we have this is our uh, double clicking here. Okay. For um, sub block, we have uh, uh, upper cycle. And lower cycle you can uh, assign some inputs for example for the bottoming one we can assign uh, your evaporator temperature uh, which surely will uh, will calculate the pressure and we have here a condenser temperature for the lower one which is considered evaporator to the uh, the upper cycle and we have here refrigerant load what is your refrigerant load and a compressor efficiency let's go for the upper one okay for the upper one we need uh, maybe the same uh, inputs uh, what is your con uh, uh, upper condenser so the range is in has increased upper condenser uh, inlet I, I consider that there is um, uh, a cooler here, air cooler for the condenser uh, in order to remove heat, therefore I, I will cool con the upper condenser by air. So uh, I have to uh, adjust my air temperature. Okay. What is your cooling uh, air tube diameter, evaporator diameter, uh, inner tube diameter, and so on? Uh, for uh, compressor efficiency, we can consider compressor efficiency because this is a design mode. Okay. 
that's enough for now uh, after adjusting your results you can go inside here and explore the upper one this is your upper cycle and uh, this is your lower cycle okay you can explore your results and, and your data let's say, set your simulation time into zero and hit run and see uh, at this specific point uh, oh, uh, what is our results okay uh, the model uh, is finished now for bottoming one uh, as you can see here this is outlet in Salby uh, outlet in Salby uh, uh, super heated in Salby uh, from the bottoming one okay and this is uh, uh, outlet temperature okay and uh, power from the compressor okay and for uh, let's go for the upper one we have here this is high uh, uh, high cycle in salpi high cycle temperature and uh, compressor bulb let's go here inside and see our results we can let's go for bottoming okay i, I need to explore this okay this is point one in salpi Okay, cycle B, uh, co uh, compressor, uh, compressor inlet uh, temperature, this is point one. We're going to talk about uh, one, two, three, four, okay, for the ensemble of this. Okay, okay, I have to adjust the view, okay. For point one in Salby, it should be uh, in dry saturated, uh, 239. Uh, point B in superheat. And this is a compressor outlet in Salby. Okay. Uh, this is outlet valve in Salby, expansion valve in Salby. The same, uh, the same uh, in Salby, flashing. And we have a mass flow rate through the cycle B. This is your mass flow rate, refrigerant mass flow rate. And uh, this is evaporator load in kilowatt, uh, condenser load in kilowatt, um, condenser pressure. This is your condenser pressure in kilopascal and uh, evaporator pressure in kilopascal, okay? Because this is lower and this is intermediate pressure, okay? Um, I think this is 0.32 uh, bars, okay? And this is your dryness fraction. This is your dryness fraction and compressor power, okay? This is for uh, for the lower one. Let's go for the upper one. For the upper one, we need. Um, Dry saturated in salvage is two, uh, 251. Okay, 0.5. This is 0.5. Let's, let's go in and see. Yes, this is one. Okay. Uh, and uh, 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 top cycle in salvage is 268.6. Let's go for 0.6. This is one. Okay. This point. And we have here. Um, uh, outlet condenser, uh, upper condenser in Salby, uh, expansion valve and expansion valve and um, we have here uh, refrigerant mass flow rate through the cycle A or upper cycle. This is uh, mass flow rate through the cycle should be uh, 0.04 uh, and we have in, uh, evaporator uh, pressure. Evaporator, I'm sorry, evaporator thermal energy is or thermal power is the same is considered the same as the condenser uh, of the lower one and uh, adding of course effectiveness considering effectiveness and uh, condense upper condenser thermal energy uh, pressure this is your high pressure uh, nearly 0.8 bars so we have here uh, 0.8 bars okay 0.3 bars and 0.1 bars okay let's go here and uh, evaporator uh, pressure, uh, dryness fraction, 0.2. Okay, that's that's normal. This one is is uh, 0.1 and this one is 0.2. Okay, and uh, cycle compressor power should be 1.7 kilowatt. Okay, for cycle COB should be around 3.3, uh, and uh, there is some uh, parameters you can control. Don't forget to uh, assign your signals to data inspector because we are we are going to run our model in uh, dynamic mode. Set your simulation time into infinity. Saving. Uh, let's double clicking here on some uh, 
parameters double clicking for this one also and I am just preparing my menu in order to control some uh, parameters that's uh, shrinking a little bit this one okay okay that's fine let's go here okay uh, and here uh, I'm trying to adjust my view okay okay um, for now first of all uh, saving and let's hit run and see I'm hitting run and uh, open my sub menus okay now the model is running with respect to the time so I need to I will increase the refrigerant load I am increasing refrigerant as you can see increasing refrigerant load would increase everything okay suppose I need to uh, decrease the pressure of the evaporator okay I am decreasing the pressure of the lower cycle evaporator okay and could, let's uh, increase the pressure again hit back again okay and suppose I need to for the upper condenser I will I am increasing some uh, operating temperature okay a cooling air temperature I am I will increase up to 25 okay and lower condenser I am increasing lower condenser temperature okay let's hit back again and decreasing the, uh, the refrigerant load okay just to click and move your arrows from the keyboard left or right okay and that's okay and and stop your simulation saving and you can add signal builder for all of these units and can uh, run your system automatically okay and let's go here uh, i'm trying to explore my results also we'll find your results are stored here in uh, your workspace everything will be stored here okay diameters and salvage and so on uh, let's go for data inspector uh, I need to increase my slots okay let's go here and uh, for cycle B uh, this is your install B varying and point uh, two on Salby. Okay, as you can realize the difference, point three and point four. Okay, the same in Salby. Um, for example, cycle COP varying uh, outlet cycle in Salby for A uh, superheat for A, and we can uh, let's go for. Uh, uh, condenser area, uh, compressor power, uh, for example here, let's go for mass flow rates, this is mass flow rate varying, uh, steam quality, okay, uh, cycle mass flow rate for A, let's go for A here, I think it's uh, a cycle, uh, okay, evaporator thermal energy, uh, and a velocity from the upper condenser fan power from the upper condenser uh, and so on so you have many many parameters you can uh, you can uh, explore and uh, design you can change your uh, your simulation time you can add signal builder you can control your inputs and you can extract your results uh, based on your favorite method of uh, extraction. Uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model. Don't forget to like, share, uh, and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.